The Spirit of the Lord is liberty, and the Spirit of the Lord is free to move here. Praise God. I want to thank my pastor, Pastor Blankenship. I love this man. And Brother Bimry, I love you too, sir. In fact, I'm going to talk about him a little bit. Uh, if you got my scripture, praise the Lord. The name of this is thank God for my pastor. That's right. Give the Lord a praise. <laughs> Obey them that have the rule over you and submit yourselves for they watch for your souls as they must give an account that they may do it with joy and not with grief for that is unprofitable for you. You may be seated. It is unprofitable if he has to pastor you with grief. And I'm not going to talk about that, but you know, he doesn't rule this church with an iron fist. He doesn't command you to obey him. And I'm thankful for that. Because there are places that do that kind of stuff. <laughs> the word obey there is an interesting word. It actually means that you're convinced of the rightness of this thing. And I am convinced of the rightness of this place. Amen. Amen. There are two reasons, two main reasons that I submit to my pastor and that I'm thankful for my pastor. The first is that if I want to go anywhere in ministry, I can't do it without being under his authority. Anywhere. You can try and you'll fly apart. And God doesn't bless confusion. You got to be submitted under the pastor if you want your ministry to do anything. And I want mine to flourish as much as it can possibly do. So I'm going to be submitted because I want to. I want all that God has for me. The second reason, and I think this is even a more important thing, is I trust this man. I trust him to watch for my soul. That's important. I really do, Pastor. I trust you with my soul. And that's no, that's no small thing. You can trust people with anything, but when you're trusting somebody with your soul, that's a big deal. But you watch this man's life. I've been, I've been in this church 15 years, and I have watched his life, and it's just solid. He, he believes what he's preaching. He lives what he's preaching. If you want to submit your soul to a man of God, this is a man of God to do it. I promise you, you will be successful in God. It's made me successful in God. I didn't know anything about submission to a man of God until I came here. And I think one of the most important revelations outside of the oneness of God is submission and leadership in a church. Because that knowing that and knowing the power of it and knowing how much it actually liberates me it doesn't bind you. If it does, you're in the wrong leadership. It liberates you to do all that you can do in God. So if you ever question that, I'm not saying you do, but this is just a reminder how blessed we are that we have what we have in this church. And Pastor, I really am thankful for you. I mean that with everything I got. And I want to do all that I can in God, and I encourage you to do the same because... This church is going somewhere. In 2016, it's going to be a good year. Amen? Amen.